or what's the youngest age that somebody's gotten Alzheimer's? Is it usually 55 and older or? There's two kinds of Alzheimer's. Um, there's those the, what we call early onset Alzheimer's and that type people get in their 40s and 50s but that's a relatively rare type although the, the name from Alzheimer's actually comes from a doctor who his first patient was one of those young patients. That's why people didn't realize how common Alzheimer's disease is because they thought, oh, this is just some rare condition that affects a few young people. The type, though, that most people get is this type in older age, and they're usually in their 70s and 80s by the time they're diagnosed with Alzheimer's. But the changes that are occurring that lead them to have full-blown dementia and be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease start much earlier. And so people in their you know, mid-60s um, can have changes that will lead them to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's when they're in their mid-70s. In terms of the actual diagnosis of Alzheimer's, that incidence doubles about every five years, starting at age 60, about 1%, uh, age 65, so 2%, 74%, 75, um, and so on, until by the time someone's 85, you know, over 30% of them um, will develop Alzheimer's disease. And so if you take everybody 85 and above, it's over half of them have Alzheimer's disease. Is it a genetic situation? I mean, should someone automatically think that they're going to get Alzheimer's just because a relative has it? There's uh, two kinds of genetic bases for Alzheimer's. The kind that people get when they're younger, the 40s or 50s, that's relatively rare, has a very strong genetic base. And if you get that gene that causes the Alzheimer's disease, you'll get the Alzheimer's disease. Just like if you get a gene for brown eyes, you'll have brown eyes um, from, um, from your parents. And the kind that most people get, though, of Alzheimer's disease, the kind that happens in the 70s and 80s, there's some genetic component, but it's, it's weaker. You're not, you feel like you're doomed to Alzheimer's because you had a parent who had it or because you have some of the genes that have been identified with it, but they do increase your chance. And so the more family members you have with Alzheimer's or if you have the gene like the most um, powerful gene that they've discovered so far for the kind that people get an older age of Alzheimer's is called apolipoprotein E. It's kind of a cholesterol type of gene um, and there's three versions of it, epsilon 2, 3, and 4. 3 is the most common so that's your average risk of Alzheimer's and if you have 2 it protects you so you have less of a risk and you have number 4 then it increases your chance of getting Alzheimer's by a factor of 2 to 3 at any given age. So if it, say at age 70 you had a 4% chance of getting Alzheimer's without the gene you might have a 10% chance of getting it with the gene. Um, and so if you have that gene, which you probably wouldn't know unless you enrolled in some kind of research trial, um, or if you have family members who have Alzheimer's disease, then when you start to have symptoms, you will worry more, and legitimately so, about whether those symptoms are early Alzheimer's in yourself. Ask your doctor about a PET scan with NeuroQ, or visit us on the web for more information about costs and scheduling.